safely say, and we can say that now. We Abbey. can We're say that from today. Uh, John, I wonder, uh, knowing the king as you do, and having worked on 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 this preparation with him as you did. Do people in the, the musical community, and it's not really a British community, it is inevitably an international community, to have a champion who is the monarch and a very high profile person must surely be something you, you welcome greatly. Hugely, and um, it's internationally admired. I mean, he is internationally admired and recognised. I mean, to have a head of state with that degree of passion for music is, is, is amazing. And you know, sorry to in introduce a bum note, but at a time when uh, the whole of the performing arts, but particularly classical music, is so much under threat. I mean, of course, we understand the, the austerity that's being forced on us again in all different departments, as it were. But the classical music should be knocked in the way that has been recently knocked by the government through the Arts Council. Is, 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 is a huge wound on the, on the body politic of, of, of classical music. And then the BBC following it up now with their proposed draconian cuts. It's, it's been a hell of a shock to the whole music profession in this country. And he is the one saving grace in this all this because his consistent patronage and, and enthusiasm and understanding of how important this is for the next two generations, as it were. Uh -huh. Otherwise, they won't experience. I want to, Abimbola. I want to 